Summary of I and the Messenger by Marcus Zusak A taxi driver named Ed Kennedy, who is just 19 years old and is sure that he is not very good at anything, is caught up in a bank robbery. He doesn't know why, but he grabs the gun of the bank robber and stops him from getting away. The media briefly calls Ed a hero, but the excitement quickly dies down, and Ed goes back to his normal life of driving a cab, hanging out with his coffee-drinking dog, and playing cards with his friends Marv, Richie, and Audrey. But one night, Ed gets a strange letter in the mail. Inside is an ace of diamonds with three names on it. Ed doesn't know who sent the card, so he goes to the first address written on it. At that place, he sees an intoxicated guy sexually attack his wife. Ed knows that the card wants him to help the woman and her daughter, but he doesn't feel ready to deal with the big, mean man. So, he chooses to go to the next location. At the second house, Ed meets Mila, a lonely old woman with Alzheimer's who thinks Ed is her late husband. Ed helps her by giving her his time. Then, he goes to the third spot and sees a young girl running barefoot to get ready for track meets. He finds out that her name is Sophie and that she never wins races because she doesn't believe in herself. Ed gives her an empty shoebox, and even though Sophie still doesn't win her races, she now has faith in herself. Ed finally goes back to the first address, but he still doesn't know how to stop the man who has been hurting him. When a gun shows up in Ed's mailbox one day, he threatens the man with it until he agrees not to hurt his wife again. After helping everyone on the card, Ed goes home, where he finds two guys in masks waiting for him. Heath and Daryl beat Ed up and took his gun. They then gave Ed a letter and the ace of clubs. After that, Ed tells Audrey how he feels about her, but she only wants to be his friend. The ace of clubs has a hint that, along with a strange passenger in Ed's cab, takes him to a stone in a nearby river with three names written on it. The first name goes to a kind priest who Ed helps by throwing a big party to get more people to come to his church. The second name is a single mother who spends her whole life taking care of her kids. Ed helps her out by getting her an ice cream cone. He does this because he thinks she also needs to be taken care of. Ed finds out that the last name is that of a troubled kid named Gavin, who often fights with his older brother, Daniel. Ed beats up Gavin himself because he thinks that an enemy from the outside will bring the boys together. Ed knows he has the ace of clubs when Gavin and Daniel beat him up to get back at him. Ed gets the next card at an amateur football game in his town. The names of three writers are written on this card, the ace of spades. Ed tries to kiss Audrey before he can look up the names, but she turns him down again. Ed goes back to the card and finds that each author has a book with a title that matches the name of a street in his town. On the first street, Ed helps a poor but loving family enjoy a beautiful moment by getting them new Christmas lights to put on their house. At the next street name, Ed sees his mother out with a man on a date. Ed talks to his mother because his father died just a year ago and his mother is usually mean to him. His mother tells him that she hates him because he is lazy like his father. After making peace with his mother, Ed goes to the third street, where an old man named Bernie runs an old theater. Ed thinks that he can help Bernie by going to a movie with Audrey. But as Ed and Audrey watch the movie, a video of Ed helping the people on the cards pops up on the screen. Ed finds the Ace of Hearts in the theater, where it was left behind. Three movie names are written on the Ace of Hearts, which leads to Ed's three friends. First, Ed gets his lazy friend Richie to start looking for a job so he can find something to do with his life. Then, Ed helps his cranky friend Marv get back together with the woman he's always loved and the child they have together. Ed slow dances with Audrey, who is afraid of emotional closeness, to get her to let herself love him back. Ed is happy to think that he has ended the card's task, but then he gets a joker with his own address on it. He goes about his regular life, which he can't believe, until one day a man gets into his taxi and tells Ed to drive to each place on the card so far. Ed knows from the beginning of the story that the man is the bank robber. The man then tells Ed to go home. When Ed gets home, he sees a strange person sitting on his couch. 
The young man says that he sent Ed the cards to show that if an everyday person like Ed can do amazing things for other people, then anyone can. The man gives Ed a folder with a list of everything Ed has done since he started his plan. He then goes. Ed worries about what the man's impact on his life means until Audrey comes over and they kiss. Ed figures out that the kiss is not in the box. Then he learns that the man wasn't using him to help other people. Instead, he was using Ed as a way to encourage everyone to do good in the world by going beyond what they thought they could do. About the author In 1975, Marcus Zusak was born in Sydney to parents who had moved there from Germany and Austria. He went to the University of New South Wales to study English and history. Before his books became popular around the world, he taught high school. He started writing when he was in high school, and his first book, The Underdog, came out in 1999. Before his 2002 young adult novel I Am the Messenger became a big hit, he wrote two more books that continued the story of his first book. In 2006, he wrote his most popular book, The Book Thief, which was praised around the world and later turned into a movie with the same name. Zusak lives and writes in Sydney, Australia. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.